I'm your host Chris Torrance. So today I wanted to show you the Merlin 8 full screen editor but unfortunately my Apple IIe that I wanted to show you on has some bad RAM. So instead I thought I would show you how to actually diagnose the bag, uh, which chip is bad and then actually how to replace it. So let's get started. And how I figured this out was I tried to boot up the Merlin 8 uh, disk and it wouldn't it would boot up but then it wouldn't work properly uh, but as you can see I can actually run normal 48k games uh, successfully so that seems to indicate that the problem is probably with the extended uh, 80 column card with the uh, extended memory on it so the first thing we want to do is try the uh, internal self test and to do that what we do is turn off the computer and then hold down Solid Apple and Open Apple at the same time. Turn it back on, and as you can see, the Apple will begin its uh, diagnostic self test. So I'm not sure if you can see that from there, but what it tells me is that there's one bad RAM chip, and the asterisk indicates that it's actually on the extended uh, card, the auxiliary card, um, and it looks like it's chip number. Uh, two counting from the left. So we will try to replace the chip now and I'll take out the card and let's just zoom in. Okay, so now that we've identified which chip is bad, we're going to go ahead and replace it. And I'm going to replace it with one of these 64K uh, 20 nanosecond chips that I got off of eBay from uh, Stephen Buggy, um, who's the nicest eBayer ever, by the way. So I'm just going to pry up chip number two here, and we're going to hope that replacing this solves the problem. Uh, it's kind of too bad. This is one of the original Apple chips. You can tell by the little Apple logo on it. Uh, looks like the first chip was already replaced, so maybe it went bad a while ago. Um, so now I'm just going to kind of bend the pins inward a little bit so that they actually go into the socket without getting bent. And that looks pretty good. And Okay, so I'm going to hold down Open Apple, Solid Apple, turn the computer on to start the internal self test. And when I do that, you can see there's the test pattern. And it'll blink a few times. And then hopefully it will report everything as good. And no, it still says bad RAM. Maybe I replaced the wrong one. Uh, same location, so let's turn it off and start from the other end this time. So. They're all facing the correct direction. Put it back into the computer. Turn it on. Okay, there's the uh, self-test pattern. Okay, so that looks very promising. So let's eject Olympic Decathlon and put in Merlin 8. Uh, this happens to be the DOS version. Uh, we can also use the ProDOS version if we wanted to. And we will start it up and cross our fingers. Okay, and we're in and we can actually get to the editor and we can get into the full screen editor and it looks like everything is working okay. So I guess we're good to go, and next time I'll just show you how to use the full screen editor, and we'll try a, um, a hardware test with a peripheral card that I've built, and we'll 
see what we can do with that. So thanks for watching.